by re-experiencing what you've seen in the episode one through the perspective of Caitlin, is precious, is, is gold, it's something wonderful. Does the earth gravitate? Does not all matter aching attract all matter? You find Caitlin in a normal day, going to school, what she would do after school, having fun with the friends. So you see a lot more of her life and a lot more of what she goes through on a day-to-day -day basis. So the body of me, to all I need or know. Caitlin, she's the body, no? È la forza del corpo, è la dirompenza dell'enigma del corpo uh, che entra nell'età nell adulta. So the body of me, to all I need or know. The reality can be seen from many angles, and we have the privilege of being able to see the, the, the realities of these two kids really from their own experience. We thought about this idea of living again the same day from Caitlin's perspective this time, because this gives the feeling of how meaningful this moment is in their lives. What happened to you? Yeah, yeah you stink. Come on, I really like it. Stop. Stop. Go wash up. Danny and Caitlin are like a typical brother and sister. They bicker and fight and wind each other up no end. They're not the best of brothers and sisters. You always got to be at the center of attention, don't you? You know, tough to be a jerk to her. It's tough to be a jerk to anybody, but that's just Danny. I'm home. I picked up your package from the post office. Follow me. When I first read the script, I immediately fell in love with it. One thing that made me fall in love with uh, Richard was his relationship with his daughter. You're really going great, Dad. Watch your mouth, Troop. It made me think about my relationship with my own daughter. It's so, like... <laughs> yeah, sure, it's just like... Episode two is really great because that was our first day of shooting. Mm -hmm. And there's this cute moment when he gives her the money. Not bad. And then they start boxing. Not too good. It's a really beautiful scene. You see their relationship, and it's early on in the show, so you see how they're so close. Time out. You ready? Yeah. He feels like he can teach her and guide her as she grows up. Want a spark? No, no. Come on, Dad. You're off your game. Just a couple of punches. Light punches. OK. Light. OK. We didn't really train for it. We just kind of like, we I just, did it. she just started throwing punches and I was just <laughs> no, like. <laughs> no, that makes you sound so bad. No, we did a little rehearsal between the two of us. It was a brief rehearsal. She right was, before. She was throwing real punches. <laughs> she bruised me. No, he she bruised me hard. too. I have some, no, not anymore. But we did, <laughs> we were both bruised at the end of that. I got it today. What'd you get? I got it, Dad. Damn. You tell mom? No. She tells him because she feels more comfortable and she trusts him with almost everything. I feel weird. It's normal. It's the hormones, you know? It's just your body. It's actually the scene that I read that made me want to take the role. It's just my body. Really? It's no big deal. It's going to be great. We killed it in that scene. Yeah, we did. Hell yeah. <laughs> cool with the Tommy. Harper. Un americano. Harper frees Caitlin as a person. You see her in episode one, like in a bikini with her long hair and really feminine and everything. And then you see her at a bar in this manly clothing, talking to a girl, flirting with her, getting phone numbers. She's going through something and she's thinking about how she wants to portray herself. And Harper is just one of those people that she wants to be. When we first meet her, she doesn't really know what's inside of her. So the story for her begins when Frazier shows her that she can be someone else. A package from Frazier. This is a story about two characters, about their relationship, about how the search of identity of two very young people can have effects on the world around them.